And we're back, you beautiful bastards, with another daily dose of God of War Ragnarok. If you don't need them, I can hold on to those Vanir crests for you. What you need now? Okay. Before we do the last, like, side quest, uh, that should be here. Once the Vanir decide they want it back. Um... I need a resurrection stone. A superior one. Because for anyone who has watched this, I uh, die a lot. Because I I, I suck, apparently. <laughs> I thought I was pretty good. I mean I played twenty eighteen on hard. And then uh, I'm doing this on hard. But uh I wonder if they tweaked some of the combat. Or just got so more involved that Despite I his actions in Midgard, can't do anything. Does still care for you. I know. I raised a son too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. Huh? He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, yeah, and was that. constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The blue one's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Huh. I thought I got this, but you know, to be frank, uh, you know, you just you jingle keys in front of me and I get distracted. So, buttons on your underwear, and uh, the other one, uh, the other uh, side quest should be nearby. Be like where I just start, like yeah, right around here. Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Shame indeed. Oh. You're ugly. Get out. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I can try my. And I'm almost dead. Just a minute. Jeez. Okay. Hello. Please leave me to my prayers. I await Freya, the great healer. I am here. She will cure me. I have been a loyal follower. She would not abandon. <coughs> I am Freya. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You're certain? I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Pong. We should find some. Did you recognize her, the sickly spirit? No. There was a time I could recall the face of every one of my people, but... Sometimes I wonder if gods live too long. I once felt the same. Hmm. Hmm. Good. I need only one more ingredient for the cure. And then what? Then I fix things. <laughs> That's everything I need. Let's return to the sick spirit. You would 
cure the dead. I promised I would take care of my people. You do not even remember her. Nor she you. And? Let us return to the spirit. <clears throat> We have collected the plants. Let this be. I feel my vitality returning to me. I feel Freya. I am here. I knew you would return. Even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes. Okay, so we got defense and the cooldown. It's like ever so slightly more defense, but no. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting when I have everything unlocked and then uh we can, or well, more me, I can freaking try to hone in on my ability, do what's best for me. Uh, uh, do you regret it, Lemire? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom. That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I, I think that's everything in this area, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I mean, looking at all this, ooh, ooh, ooh. something here that Pilgrim's Landing, I'm missing. Something. Missing an artifact right here. And we'll friggin... You'll acclimate until you two not trying to kill each other. Brock. We'll, uh, friggin' worry about that later. do that. Okay. I mean, I would say I'm fairly certain that I would keep this shield to the end of the game, maybe, unless it's something. That'll mess some folks up. So I'm gonna upgrade it. Hope you're feeling violent. And now for the goddess. Hmm. You know what you want? Uh about time I had something to do. Okay. Don't get killed in the meantime. I don't plan to. So. Uh. We will head to Helheim real quick. I mean, yeah, no, Helheim. Get the reward that's waiting for us. 
and then go do the secondary thing. Then um, wait. Okay, that's just eyes are open. No time. No time for him. Need for him. Get him. Okay. Then Oh, plus we'll have her now, so she might uh, inform us on uh, certain things. Okay, never mind. Alright. can forge some new stuff. Seems what? like you might need the help. Is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? And here I thought you were good with riddles. We told what we saw, empowered his lies. Good little ravens, good little spies. Okay, so what's the next, uh, this is 48, right? Yeah, 40 will be 28. Okay. So let's take a look at his armor. Hmm. Hitting enemies with great A. Health healing mist. I lose a lot. Can I upgrade these at all? Still acclimating to you two not trying to kill each other. You I suppose that. your skills are needed. No. I mean, it's just like this has so much friggin' strength, defense, runic, and luck, and then this just has strength, defense, and luck, but healing. Hmm. Oh, so I'm just some clod hopper? Yes. We'll stick with this, this armor right now, since making enemies weaker is probably <laughs> the best for me. Ah. Uh, yes. Now we can do this. Are we and then, to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? The ah! Don't we do ah! something else that needs our attention? We found a Hofkeeper out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the Forbidden Signs. A Hofkeeper? I haven't seen one since I was a child. And what else? There's still that secret elven library, and I'll find it. Lead the way. It's, it's gonna be hard to freaking remember where everything is. Ragnarok is coming. You're gonna need to stock up. Luckily, I'm offering new items. He's like, I'm really gonna have to just go through the world again. Oh, there's our jellyfish friend. Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but 
Freyr was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh, a bit before my time. Do tell. Mm. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost. <laughs> Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The Elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Remember, all that's going to be on the test at the end of this. I think I missed this spot last time. You shoot. That's certainly the Empress I told you about. Blame the gods for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Oh, 40 dust up realm. And then we have uh, the Draugr guard. Right? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Do we read any of this? I'm going to read it again just for, you know, sake. Draugr aren't exactly master tacticians, but they can hold up a shield when it's when it suits them. Sorry. Oh, God, something in my throat. 
makes them even more of a nuisance if you're trying to mow them down quickly. Breaking their block seems the quickest way to dispatch them. Swinging wildly won't break its guard, but if you use your shield strike, you should be able to find an opening. Double tap L1. Parrying attacks can also break the Draugr guard's guard. Wow. Good to know. Oh. More chaos parts. Okay. Yeah. You once survived a giant's corpse to uh, stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Okay. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass. Which must mean another half gufa. Ah, it looks as though the light elf sealed off this section of the barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Vela, and another storm to endure. Hmm. Oh, this is probably gonna end just great. Swimming. Oh. Go around like this, and uh, okay. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a fear of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Hmm. I'm a little scared, uh, and, uh, you know, this probably won't end well if it's a forbidden forest. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. A what? A, a cave? I see an entrance. What the hell is that? Do, should I touch it? I mean, what's wrong with this? This is a bit scary. Okay, here we go. Down in the. I hope the, Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder Deep if he knows how enough. poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this half goofer is free. There it is. This architecture. It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. Okay. Uh -huh. <gasps> ah, just what I wanted. What is this way? A wall. Okay. So, everything. 
Okay. What the hell is that? Can you? This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. Ah. Okay. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Ah, no. and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic hmm. perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Okay, okay. Yeah, shimmy across. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um. Too thick for that. The twilight stone on the ground will help. Oh. Ah. Well, there you go. Pretty. Oh. Oh no. Enemies on the left. You don't say. Okay, now we got that one done. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to just not do just damage with everything. Are we good? Are we done? I'll take this. Nope. No. Oh yeah, right. There's a freaking nest. Okay. We're done. We're good. Okay, goodbye. Uh, so, as I stand here, this is a good place to end. Next episode, you know, hopefully we'll free this half goofa, and then it will become a full goofa, obviously. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I hope that uh, this last. Okay, bye.